Dear aquarist, you have selected this video because you want to hear something what I can say about a book that has been published on tilapia, on a cichlid. Yes, it's about the care you can give to a fish in a future perspective, which we learned from the last decade. So I will share you, well, a part of the PDF of that book that explains you how it can be important for you if particularly when you're a breeder or you want to be successful with breeding cichlids but also other fish yes in general tropical fish it's very interesting that you might learn something out of this book which is very practical uh, this book is being worked out uh, in uh, how can I say, worked out by two professors. And it was done for the applied environmental science and engineering for a sustainable future. The title of the book is Novel Approaches Towards Sustainable Tilapia and Aquaculture in General, I would say. But, but here specifically, it was about tilapia because it's an important food fish. The authors is Said Hossein Hosseinifar and Yin van Doen, uh, those are the two editors. They are both uh, professors. You will see here the links you can see in the book. Uh, the one is professor uh, at the Department of Fisheries in Iran. And that is Mr. Hosseinifar. And Hein van Doen is uh, working at the Department of Animal Aquatic Science in Thailand. Two, two countries are very big in reproduction of tilapia. And what I indicated in the preface is the importance of the book. I indicated it here in yellow. The conviction behind this book, which was substantially substantiated by study and practice, is that the health management and the feed additives, the good microbiotic, the probiotics, the prebiotics, the symbiotics, medical, medicinal plants, and alternative protein sources and culture systems contribute to sustainable aquaculture. That means aquaculture that helps you to be beneficial and be proactive. And these novel approaches have been played an important role in sign sustainable aquaculture development in the past few decades. Part of that is like our Dr. Baslier Biofish Food that has also been developed a couple of decades ago in the same approach is to help uh, a good uh, fish health with probiotics, prebiotics, symbiotics, medical plants, etc., etc. And I will not go in detail in the book, but I will ex I tell you at least what is the main content of the book that you can purchase. I will show you the link below the where you can purchase the book, particularly when you're a fish farmer. It is very helpful. There are many references on each chapter which can help you, not only tilapia farming, but in general, fish farming. It talks about the tilapia fish for the future in sustainable aquaculture, well, it's about nutritional and environmental requirements, the, well, the culture systems, the genetic improvement, the environmental impacts, and some constraints and suggestions for solutions to tilapia farming. Interesting when you particularly deal with this subject. The thing what I like a lot, a lot is about health management. Health management, that means the principles of the maintenance or health of the fish. They discuss the diseases of tilapia. Well, the diseases of tilapia are, a lot of them are similar to our ornamental tropical fish. Bacterial diseases, viral, parasitic diseases, and the control and treatment approaches, all nicely explained in chapters. Then they discuss the effects of feed additives on tilapia reproduction, particularly what can help in for the reproduction, the behavior, the physiology, and also in the control of tilapia reproduction. 
interesting when you're the tilapia breeder or the cichlid breeder in general. It can help you a lot. Intestinal microbiota is discussed for the tilapia, which is in general for many uh, fish which have the kind of same habitats as tilapia, very practical. It, it talks about the characterization of the intestinal microbiota and the techniques of modulation. And which is also be discussed with the products that will be recommended in this chapter of probiotics and their application in tilapia culture. Probiotics, many different kinds which are uh, recommended in this book with the references. The prebiotics and the symbiotics, what they can do for yeah, the growth and the immune stimulation or immune modulatory system of the fish the growth of the fish, uh, then the medical medicinal plants or medical plants or techniques which are used to prevent the use of antibiotics, the active compounds like flavonoids and alkaloids, the effects on the fish physiology and the growth, and to improve the pathogen resistance and improve the immunity. Many things discussed about plants, which is of course something we practice a lot and use a lot in our Dr. Bats nearby fish food. Then alternative protein sources from animal or plant-based, particularly I think algae will be a good future for alternative protein source, and marine algae particularly. And sustainable farming of the tilapia, the two techniques are discussed, the bioflock technology and the recirculating Aquaculture system, RAS systems, which are very popular in recent aquaculture. The only thing I can add, add to this system of uh, technology of filtering and aquaculture systems, that it's all about still regular water changes and good filter maintenance. Good filter maintenance is meaning appropriate cleaning and, and overlooking that, uh, not overlooking that the filter can become dirty. So that, that's about the main thing I would like to say about uh, this book, about novel approaches towards sustainable tilapia aquaculture. But think about it. This also is important for, in general, aquaculture of ornamental fish. You can learn a lot from this because the money is invested in tilapia culture. Not so money, much money will go into ornamental fish aquaculture. But learn from this tilapia. It's an ornamental fish also. Thank you for watching. Any questions? Let me know below.